To many, he was the greatest Latin American writer who ever lived. To others, he was simply gabble. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, the Colombian author whose books redefined the limits of prose, who brought together magic and reality in ways few others have been able to, finally succumbed to age and ill health in his home in Mexico City. His millions of fans around the world have been expecting this day for some time, after he was diagnosed several years ago with cancer. In Colombia, President Santos led the tributes to the country's most beloved son. Como gobierno, y en homenaje a la memoria de Gabriel García Márquez, As a government, and in homage to the memory of Gabriel García Márquez, I have declared a state of national mourning for three days and I have ordered all public institutions to fly the national flag at half-mast. And we also hope Colombians will do the same in their own homes. García Márquez was a controversial figure too. His friendship with Fidel Castro caused some to distance themselves from him, at least politically. But his affiliations meant he could play a role as a mediator in peace talks between left-wing rebel groups and the Colombian government. Either way, on the streets of the Mexican capital, the overwhelming sense was one of loss. We have lost someone who wrote high-quality, interesting books. It'll be hard to find another like him. He leaves us with life. Paradoxically for me, his physical death brings us life because he's left us his books. And to read García Márquez is life. I feel strange because he was someone who took us to unexpected places. He made you feel things you don't feel with other writers. It was that ability to make people feel things they didn't feel with other writers which made García Márquez and his novels so special and so unique. While García Márquez's death will be most keenly felt in his native Colombia, he will also be mourned here in Mexico, his adopted home for more than 40 years. But he is an author who transcended Latin America, who can genuinely be considered perhaps the finest writer of the Spanish language since Cervantes.